tune in for another segment of Puppy Development with Jay the Joy Dog. Hey y'all, I'm Kylie with Antebellum Kennels and here we have Jay, the Joy Puppy. We're gonna do a little bit of sensory and elevated surface work with him today. As y'all remember from some previous posts, Joy bought Jay earlier this year with the express purpose of running him in some AKC and UKC events. Um, you know, when the time is right. We're also gonna document his progression and training so that you guys can see what all these dogs go through in order to be able to campaign and ultimately hunt later on in life. Um, Jay's about 10 weeks old here. And when they're this age, we're not really asking a whole lot from puppies. What we're asking from him right now is just to learn and experience things. We're not asking, you know, a whole lot of obedience, anything like that. What we want from him right now is to have experiences and we want those experiences to be positive. You know, we want him to look at life and say, wow, what can I do next? What's going to be the next fun thing that we're going to do? So what I like to do when they're this age is just start exposing them to as many different things as I can. Elevated surfaces and unsteady surfaces are two of the first things that I expose puppies to. Um, mostly because these are two of the things they're going to see throughout most of their lives. They're always going to need to be able to be on an elevated surface, you know, whether it's going to the vet's office, when you hunt off a stand, um, we run tests off of stands, different things like that. You may have them in a boat. Um, so they need to be able to be in different circumstances and situations and be comfortable with it. And it's so much easier to get them comfortable with it at this age than it is when they're older. So what I like to do is to make it positive, I use food. What I'm using right here is the Joy 3020 dog food. Um, typically for his normal diet, he is eating the Joy puppy, but for training, I like to use a kibble that's a little bit bigger in size. Um, and the 3020 does that perfectly for this. Um, so anytime y'all see me using any sort of treats, that's what it is. Um, that's what I use for just about every dog that we're still doing treat training with. So if you'll notice what I've done up here is I'm not asking him to do anything other than be up here and I'm making it as positive as possible. There's some other puppies running around around out here. Um, you know, so they're a great distraction for him. The cat's out here somewhere um, begging for food. Um, and that's what he needs to be doing right now is up here learning how to focus on me and being comfortable being in a situation that may typically be uncomfortable for young dogs. Um, and as you can see, he's up here, you know, he's exploring, he's looking around, um, you know, seeing what all is around here. Um, and that's all we really need him to be doing right now. You know, and I'm going to give him some of this dog food. He's going to be happy with it. Um, you know, and it just makes everything positive. So this is one of the first places I start with every single puppy that comes through here is just exposure, exposure to life, exposure to different circumstances. Um, and just making things positive because that's ultimately what we need everything to be for him is positive so that when we do get into the meat of the training he looks at learning with you know a lot of enthusiasm and not like oh my gosh this is going to be you know horrible he looks and says wow we're going to learn something today and i'm excited about it and that all begins with things like this and these are all things y'all can do with your puppies at home you know, and even if you're planning on sending your puppy off to training later, if you do things like this when they're this age, it makes it so much easier on the trainer that that dog goes to because your puppy's already exposed to these different things. He's got a positive outlook on life, you know, and he's ready to learn. And this is the foundation for that. And every good dog, I don't care if they're going to do, you know, be your house pet, be your hunting partner, um, you know, agility dogs, any sort of hunting dogs, they need a positive and firm foundation to be able to build upon that to get where you ultimately want to go in life with them. So, and if y'all have any questions, please either ask them in the comments on some of these videos, uh, shoot us some messages at Joy. Um, you can send me direct messages, um, you know, questions about nutrition, training, um, what we're doing with these dogs, anything like that. Um, and we will definitely get those questions answered either through a video, um, you know, the podcast that comes out every week, um, you know, anything like that. We love questions um, and we couldn't do this without you guys. Um, so thanks to you for tuning in and I hope that y'all will follow along on our adventures, um, you know, as we get going with Jay. Please contact us for more information about Joy Dog Foods or dog training through Antebellum Kennels.